Hey gamers, have you ever wished you could relive the magic of classic GameCube and Wii games right on your Android phone? Well, now you can. Thanks to the Dolphin emulator, legendary titles like Super Mario Galaxy, The Legend of Zelda, Resident Evil 4, Metroid Prime Trilogy, and so many more are just a tap away. Over 96% of GameCube and Wii games are fully playable through Dolphin, with many running flawlessly even on mid-range smartphones. That's right, you don't need a flagship device to dive back into your favorite childhood adventures. In this video, I'll guide you step-by-step -step on how to install the Dolphin emulator, tweak it for the best performance, add your game files, and check game compatibility so you can enjoy smooth gameplay on the go. Now let's talk about Dolphin. It supports both the GameCube and the Wii, and has now been fully optimized for Android devices. With Dolphin, you can enjoy your favorite titles up to full 4K, use Bluetooth controllers, enable turbo speed, apply cheat codes, and even play some games online via networked multiplayer. As for system requirements, here's what you'll need for the best experience. A Snapdragon 730G processor or higher is recommended. Adreno GPUs work best, while Mali GPUs may require extra configuration. You'll want at least 4 gigabytes of RAM, though 8 gigabytes or more is ideal. Dolphin runs smoothly on Android 9.0 and above, and you should have a few gigabytes of storage space free depending on your game library. Let's get started. First, download the Dolphin app. Fortunately, it's available on the Google Play Store. Search for Dolphin Emulator, which has high ratings and millions of downloads. It is the easiest way to download the emulator on Android. For your kind information, Dolphin is also available on Windows, Linux, and Mac operating systems. Unfortunately, there is not a version for iOS right now. Once installation is complete, open it up. You'll see an empty game library since this is your first time launching the app. Before adding games, let's customize and configure the settings. Click on the gear icon in the top bar, then tap Config. In general, ensure Dual Core is enabled. Enable Cheats, set the speed limit to 200% for maximum performance, and enable the Save States option to auto-save your game states. In the Interface option, set the screen orientation to Landscape. Enable Expand the Cutout Area. It will use the maximum coverage of the display. You can also choose a theme and adjust other settings. In the Audio Settings, enable the Audio Stretching option. In the Path option, enable Search Subfolders for Games to automatically detect games. Tap on Advanced to explore more options. Try these, but be aware they might cause crashes. For CPU Core, JIT Recompiler for ARM64 is safe and recommended. Near the bottom of the menu, tap on Override Emulated CPU Clock Speed. A checked box means the feature is enabled. Return to the main settings menu, then tap Graphics Settings. Here, set your preferred video backend OpenGL or Vulkan, but I prefer to use Vulkan and enable Compile Shaders before starting. Set Aspect Ratio to Stretch to Window. The Enhancement option has lots of useful settings like internal resolution. You can set it up to 6x, which means 4K, but I prefer to use 2x, which is 720p. Set 2 times anisotropic filtering. Enable Widescreen Hack. It will force the game to output graphics for any ratio. Before starting, tap on Statistics, then enable Show FPS and Show Speed. Return to the main screen. Next, head back to the main settings menu, where you'll find an option to install custom GPU drivers. By default, the emulator selects your device's GPU driver, but you can install a custom one for better performance. For this video, I'm using the Qualcomm Adreno 819 driver. Now let's add games to Dolphin Emulator. Click Add Games in the bottom left corner to open your phone's file manager. Please create a new folder, name it Dolphin Games, and paste your games into it. Dolphin can run both Nintendo GameCube and Wii games. Make sure your games are in supported formats like ISO, GCM, or NRG. Disclaimer, the emulator itself is legal, but using illegal ROMs is forbidden. I do not support or provide access to pirated games, so please use legal copies for your safety. If you're unsure about a game, check Dolphin's official compatibility list on their website to see if your game is playable. Final words. You'll now see all your games listed, ready to enjoy on your Android phone, whether they're from GameCube or Wii. While playing, you can pause the game, take a screenshot, change the overlay, customize the control keypad, and even connect a Wii remote. The emulator turns your phone into a console. 
How cool is that? If this guide helped you unlock your childhood memories, smash that like button, subscribe for more epic emulator tips, and join our Discord server to connect with thousands of gamers like you. More magic is coming, don't miss it.